a quick video to cover something that's been on my mind and you'll see where I'm going with this by the end of the video so stay to the end. Hasbro had a G.I. Joe panel at WonderCon this past weekend and we got to see a bit more of the upcoming G.I. Joe classified Cobra Ferret. Now this isn't anything new as the Cobra Ferret has been previously shown off at a fan stream a couple of months ago. However, it makes me ask the question, why does Hasbro do this? Now you're asking what do you mean? So some people might not like this video, so if you happen to like it by the time you finish it, please do think about leaving a like and think about subscribing if you're not already. Now let's jump in. The Cobra Ferret has always been a much loved and liked small vehicle. It has often been requested to join the G.I. Joe classified line since the vehicle started to appear in the line. Uh, I myself have done several speculation videos on it joining the line long before it was actually announced. However, what I'm talking about is how Hasbro always feels the need to include a figure with every vehicle. Something I personally think is not needed as it simply drives up the price of the product when customers I think would much rather have a cheaper price point to deal with and in this case would allow them to easily troop build this vehicle as I suspect many collectors are going to want. Throw in the fact that they've spent time and money on creating an original non-canon female Cobra Trooper. Now don't get me wrong, I have no issues about females in the Joe line, but we all know that if this had to been released as a single packed figure, it would have been a shell former, just like some of the other female characters. Yes, I'm looking at you, Lady J. In the case of Lady J, at least she was a much beloved canon character, and here we have an original character that many collectors may have no attachment to. I'm sure a ton of collectors will enjoy the new mold, but was it really needed? If Hasbro felt the need to include a figure, why not simply throw in a regular blue Cobra Trooper, which has been a re for a long while now. In my opinion, this would have increased the desire to troop build this purchase and at the current price point. And you would have been getting both a desirable figure and a desirable vehicle, which potentially is not the case at the moment. I'm super curious to know what other classified collectors think of this topic. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you interested in this Cobra female trooper independent of getting the Cobra Ferret? Want to see more G.I. Joe classified videos? Why not check out this classified stinger video here? Or if you're looking for Transformers content, head to the channel to find a few videos that catch your eye. Thanks for watching.